OK. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, uh, what they're asking in this case is to go ahead and determine um, what kind of transformation this is. This is going to be a reflection, a uh, translation, um, or are we going to be doing a rotation, a reflection, you know, and so forth, and all those kind of things. So what I want to do is just kind of go over a couple things. If the, main, the main things that I always like to look at at first is obviously, you know, reflections. Can we reflect over the x or the y-axis or the origin? Well, obviously, guys, we reflect over the x-axis which is right here, right? Think about it, you're just taking this figure, oh, we're going from here to here. Just take this figure and reflect it over, right? And obviously, that's not gonna give us very. If I reflect this figure over here, it's gonna look something like this, right? That's not exactly what we're looking for. I can't even translate this figure, just slide it, right? Trans translation is just a sl um, slide. I can't even slide it over here, so I need to look at you know, what would a rotation be? And one of the things, if you guys remember that I did, since there's no coordinate points on this, one of the things that I told you guys we could do is we can take a sheet of paper and think about the rotation this way. So if I draw, draw my heart, remember if I rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise, it would look like this. If we rotate it counterclockwise um, 180 degrees, that'd be 290 degrees, it would look like this. If I rotate it three, 270 degrees, it would look like this. And does that look like our figure? Yeah. Yes. So I could do 90, 180, 270, which would be counterclockwise, or your answer also could have been 90 clockwise. Okay? So the two different transformations you guys could have had for this is a rotation of 90 degrees clockwise, or 270 degrees counterclockwise. All right. And if uh, 